hospital in Ghana, especially government hospital. Take a look at how their government hospital be standard. They are building they are building the hospital very correct, like European hospital, like European hospital. Government just because they know that health is very important to contribute. I say let me just come today and talk the reality and say the truth so that I will be free. If you see any if you see country way past your country, way better than your country doing progress, you have to appreciate that country. <laughs> Like I said earlier, so I will not be mistaken in for me campaigning for any president incoming or outgoing or like it won't be like I'm campaigning for any political seat for anybody. This is me talking about the policies already on ground. So I hope that you understand. It is fair that from time to time you guys take a moment and appreciate what you have. It is okay for you to want more and better than what you have. Give this food for a very low price, as low as 10,000 Naira all you have to have is n-i-n and for those who will be saying ghanaians don't like us they want you to bring ghana card before you assess something before you assess this rice where you have to pass through hell you need your n-i-n national identification number you'll be wondering why are they doing that because they want to give it to Nigerians only. So when you come to Ghana and they say they want only people with Ghana card, it simply means that they want to give it to Ghanaians. And that is okay. Do you understand? Hello guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Lillian. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for always tuning in to watch my videos. I appreciate you. If you have not subscribed, kindly hit the subscription button, turn on the bell notification, put it on the last one that says all, because that way is the only way you get notified anytime I upload a video. So you guys, I was on my other channel just going on the front page of YouTube when I stumbled on the video video I want to react to of an Igbo man who lives in Ghana giving his one cent or two cent about the healthcare system in Ghana. I feel like we have not been talking about that here on my channel. We have not really been talking about that. Please do it to like this video and do it to share if you want. Feel free to comment by the time you understand the video. The truth is some of us are very aware of the truth but when you come up here and say things as they are it starts to look like you are putting your own country down and then it kind of make me wonder are they competing before ghana and nigeria are not competing in any ways ghana is ghana nigeria is nigeria they are both unique amazing and they also have their issues so when you are saying something about the other one positively it doesn't mean that the other one is bad but for this man he's a nigerian and he has his right to hear his opinion about things that he discover in a country where he lives in but he wishes that can be too in his country now it's not common to see nigerians that will just accept like that because they already believe that once you say something is working in ghana it has automatically mean you saying that nigeria is the worst country and you have put your country down a lot of people would rather die than admit where you know it's paining them than to speak the truth but the fun part for me is where the man said i must speak the truth so that i can be free like the truth is shocking him and he can't say it because he's afraid of his country people coming to tell him you're putting your country down because he simply saw something in another country that is not a european country neither is it in the continent of america just because that country is in africa you must not admit where they are getting it right where you wish you have that in your own country i want to react to that video and i want to tell you something dear ghanaians see sometimes i know you want a better ghana but it is good to take a minute or two and appreciate your government and when i say your government i'm not talking about the president of ghana as in in person of 
Nana Akufado. No, I'm not talking about him. Your government, he is not. Yeah, right now he is in power. When he is done serving the good people of his country, it is only fair that he goes away. We are talking about government. We are not referring to the man who is in power at the moment we are talking about the policies in that country so it is fair that from time to time you guys take a moment and appreciate what you have it is okay for you to want more and better than what you have that is the dream of everybody every individual every country every organization every business wants to be better than they are yesterday so it's okay for you guys to want a better ghana but the truth is that you guys are getting it good your government is trying like i said earlier i will not be mistaken for me campaigning for any president incoming or outgoing or any whatsoever to be like i'm campaigning for any political seat for anybody this is me talking about the policies already on ground so i hope that you understand and i believe that it's fair to appreciate what you have <laughs> a lot of us wish that we get not 60 percent we wish that we get some of the things that is getting right in ghana we nigerians some nigerians wish that we get at least 40 percent of these things i mean basic things of life that makes life simple that just supposed to be there for you as human that is all some of us are asking for we are not asking for too much we are asking for basic things basic things of life in our own country so but this man has something to say let's go to him first let's play that video i'll be back again to continue from where he stops ghana really shocked me tonight i swear it's true that i don't live many years for this country but i say let me just come today and talk the reality and say the truth so that i will be free if you see any, if you see country way past your country, way better than your country doing progress, you have to appreciate that country because it's not easy. It's not easy to be a good leader or good president. Nana Kufado, you are trying. Mohama, we put the constitution of the health insurance in Ghana. God will bless you. Nana Kufado, God will bless you. You see this health insurance? Eh? If you are a citizen or foreigner in Ghana, you have health insurance. This thing is health insurance. Whether it be citizen, whether it be foreigner, whether it is a pure water, whether it is a pepper, whether it be poor man, whether it be poor girl, whether it be poor boy, you. once you have this, insurance cover you for Ghana. Government will take good care of you without no collect any money from you. If now something that you will pay like 50,000 naira in hospital, my brother, my sister, you will pay like, once you have this, you will pay like 1,000 naira end of the day, or 500 naira, end of the day. Once you have this health insurance, maybe assume you don't have, you know where, when you come hospital in Ghana, especially government hospital, take a look at how their government hospital be standard. They are building, they are building the hospital very correct, like European hospital, like European hospital government just because they know that health is very important for any human being life you see take a look at it if i this is night nice. if i walk started say let me walk let me know whether i will see this hospital end maybe it will take me to go all over the hospital maybe it will take me like 40 minutes or 50 minutes, getting to one hour before I will see the end of the hospital, this hospital. Very big. In more than FMC. You know, say, for Nigeria, FMC or where? Or anything FMC hospital. It's for big man. 
I could remember when when I did small, if we hear say this person they sick, then take it for FMC. Hey, we will say, hey, your family get money, or your children get money, or your husband get money. That is corruption. That is corrupt country. Nigeria is a corrupt country. Nigeria don't want to see a mass a poor person brief. After they loot the mineral resources, God used bless the country. But government will still they suffer you. Especially those wicked souls, those vampires in Asorok, they will make sure that they redugo your life useless. Yeah, that's an evil man who came out to say the part that makes me react is where he says he must speak the truth. Yeah, the truth has got to be spoken. Healthcare system in Ghana is a very good one and it's a policy that I will advise every Ghanaian to make sure that no one comes into power and scrap it off because it's going to do a lot of people dirty. Like it's, it's a bad like is is a no. So you guys as Ghanaian, you should protect it with all your might. It shouldn't be a thing of debate for any political party to say, okay, we want to scrap that off because we want to do this. No, because I know what I'm saying. In my country, if you go to the hospital, you can go to a hospital in Nigeria and you will see someone dying and that person will be allowed to die because the family members cannot make deposit of a certain amount for the person's treatment to comment and the reason people can't make deposit of this money is not because they are extremely poor it is due to the fact that maybe the money is just too much and you don't have it at that moment so by the time it's okay wait let me go and source for money let me go and raise funds let me go and try my best to make money out there and come treat my loved one you may not be that fortunate by the time you come back by the time you get that money and come back you may have lost your loved one because there are no health insurance for nigerians health insurance in nigeria works this way health insurance in nigeria is for people who have good jobs if you work with the ministry of something if you have a good job uh, maybe you work with the central bank of nigeria nmpc you work with some banks in nigeria yeah your company has that to cover you and your family so a regular nigerian who needs the healthcare system the most do not have access to health insurance because he or she does not have a job i strongly believe that if you have a job you can afford some things like basic health care for your for yourself and your family so why is it that it's not made available for people who need it the most people with no jobs so that is how it is in nigeria and you see this man will be attacked i will not be surprised that people will go there and attack him oh you are putting your country down i mean this is a man who is in the hospital right there he just got just got released to go home from that hospital and you expect him not to give a shout out he prayed for ghana just like I prayed for Ghana, I'm still praying for the Ghana healthcare system because, because when I brought my sister to Ghana, I didn't know what I was doing. The truth is I acted out of sympathy and emotion like because they thought of me watching her suffer because she made a mistake by getting pregnant out of wedlock eats me up so when i asked her to move her bags let's go to ghana i didn't know it was going to be capital intense i didn't know it was going to be expensive i didn't even know what i was doing i mean taking a pregnant woman with you you know what that means but i did anyways and to god be the glory i paid almost nothing until my sister delivered and she gave birth through cesarean section though i paid for medication and all the medication they needed at the theater right i paid for that which cost me about 430 ghana cities by the time the operation was done on her and the babies out and everything was okay and we were asked to go home i was charged a total of 405 cities it was that high because it was not even a government hospital. We used a missionary hospital um, because her doctors at the polyclinic referred us to that hospital because it happens to be like closer to me so that if she goes into labor, I can easily, you know, get her across to the place. So apart from, apart from that, like, they charged me that much because I had other things I was not present in the hospital to pay for. So I was home and they paid for some things. They gave us some medication 
in addition to the one I, the one I have paid for already so they added everything together and gave us a total bill of 405 cities so for me i would call that free because i would have paid a lot more than that if she gave birth back home in my country i would have paid a lot more than that especially given the fact that she gave birth through cesarean section health care system in ghana is working and this is not a competition between who should or shouldn't this is just some of us nigerians who admire that i was feeling like we wish our government can implement that trust me if we implement that it's going to go a long way now i talked about fmc in nigeria each state in nigeria has federal medical center that's what we call fmc so he talked about the one in Oweri at the eastern part of nigeria and he talked about ah when i get money to go there oh, you people are rich to go there yeah, that's because it's expensive for a regular Nigerian who was pregnant with my last baby. I registered, I registered at one of the FMCs in one of the states in Nigeria. I know how much I spent giving birth in that place. That is where you can assess the best doctors, the best this. For some of us that have had difficulty with childbed before so it was advisable we go to places like that and it's expensive i remember a lot of women i used to attend antenata with running away from there and saying they can't give birth there because it is too much and some of them end up losing their lives trying to give birth cheaply at the local places some of them some of them go as risky as giving birth to, to their babies at all these chemists some of these nurses that has chemist i don't know if you understand a chemist is not like a pharmacy a chemist is something like where you can get your medication breakdown to giving you maybe one dose you want to buy two the, a dose of paracetamol and you don't have a lot of money to go to the pharmacy because as, as for the pharmacy they will advise you come with prescription from the doctors i'm talking about the ones you can just walk to and tell them ah my back is spinning me my head is spinning me or my nose is, is swelling up and they'll be like ah, how did it do you these people would depend on you to describe your situation and they give you medication to treat whatever their guess could be the problem these are the people i'm talking about and most most of these drug stores are owned by auxiliary nurses who never had any formal training nothing and you just go there risk your life giving birth there because it's way cheaper than what the government will charge you to give birth to a nigerian kid now i will not be surprised that some people will attack him because why would you say ghana is getting it right and now to ghanaians who find it offensive each time we say your government is trying it's not because we don't want them to do more it's not like we don't want a better ghana for you guys we don't mind we want a better ghana because as ghana is good we are enjoying too for those of us that are living here i know how many friends are telling me they are happy for me they wish they are in my shoes right now they are thanking god for me that i moved to ghana from nigeria how would you have done with the kids and that is very true because of course it's better for me here than in nigeria when my kids fall sick here i am only worried about just little money maybe transport and just little money we spent as low as 100 and something cities there was a day i went to the hospital i spent 90 cities i mean i went to the polyclinic in ghana here and i spent 90 cities i was like wow i was very wow so now if you're in nigeria and you want to convert that money to naira you're not supposed to do that because i'm talking about ghana i'm not talking about nigeria because in Nigeria, before you see that money you are trying to convert to, before you see equivalent of it in Naira, you know what's up. You know that that's someone's salary, right? So when you're doing things in Ghana, don't convert the rates to Naira. You are going to be sick. We want a better Ghana for you. So when we are talking about this, we are not about to offend you. We are not about to tell your leaders to be lazy. Because if they are lazy, it affects us. We are in support of a better Ghana. If you guys can give us a better Ghana, it doesn't matter. We are, we are in this together. This enjoyment, it fall on us, all of us together. So we will want a better Ghana. But some of the things we wish we have back at home that we do not have when we see them here permit us to praise sing praises on the governments okay so it has nothing to do with we telling them to be lazy there is no excuse for laziness on here and we wish that 
we have what you have so from time to time when you are angry with your government remember there's a country called nigeria where the citizens always want to believe they are better than you but in reality you are having it going good you are up there very close to heaven you are in fact in canada mm, thank you <laughs> you are in canada you are living the real life so i mean a country where you see a video like this let me play this video for you guys to see before i end the video <laughs> now when you see a video like this in some countries you will think of you will think of natural disaster right no this is not a case of natural disaster this is a case of hunger Nigerians were invited to buy bags of rice at a subsidized price now the rice they are selling to them is the rice that was seized by custom that the rise they share for the citizen there that makes a lot of people lost their lives on the process is rice that was seized by custom on duty you know they seize these things because they are contraband but smugglers wouldn't stop so sometimes custom officials are able to overpower them and seize this goose they seize them they store it somewhere so now that nigerians are coming out to protest coming out to complain that the food is not enough so the custom office decided to open that store and give this food for a very low price as low as ten thousand naira. all you have to have is n-i-n and for those who will be saying Ghanaians don't like us they want you to bring ghana card before you assess something before you assess this rice where you have to pass through hell you need your n-i-n do you understand national identification number you need it for you to be able to assess the rice now you'll be wondering why are they doing that because they want to give it to nigerians only so when you come to ghana and they say they want only people with ghana card it simply means that they want to give it to ghanaians and that is okay do you understand seriously i've spoken too much so those are people scamping for food and a lot of them died on the process of trying to buy rice trying to buy rice at a subsidized price so i appreciate your government today and they will do more for you guys i hope that this video meets you well and that i will see you in my next one bye